So for my first video, I thought it made sense to do a little introduction. I am Robin, I'm from the Netherlands and I love overlanding and old cars. You can see here behind me, there's a bunch of Volvo C303. We just took this one to the Arctic and had an epic adventure with it. We currently have three of them in the workshop. This one needs a new prop shaft because we crashed it and it came off. On this one, I'm going to be replacing the CV boots. For my first video, I thought it was kind of right um, to give you guys a tour of the car that it all started with. He's parked outside. I just picked him up yesterday. He got a completely new wiring harness. Um, so this is the first car that I bought. It's a Land Rover 110 from 84. I bought him just after I got my driver's license and he has taken me around most of Europe so far. Let's have a look at what's under the hood. As you can see, I'm running a Mercedes-Benz OM603 engine. Here you can also see that the wiring has been redone. Uh, the old wiring was just put together with a bunch of push hacks and was very, very unreliable. I had this done professionally by someone because I'm just not good enough to do this myself. But yeah, he did a really great job and the car is uh, running very nicely. You can also see that it has new lining under the hood. The old lining was completely saturated with oil and basically a fire waiting to happen. Also a bunch of upgrades in the cockpit has been done. Let's check out the inside. So the first thing you notice is the seats, the frames in the old seats were broken. So we just decided to put new ones in, like upholster them with some nice leather and suede in the middle. Um, then a copy box was added. I used to have this kind of like weird, not usable middle seat here because like the transmission is there, obviously. So we decided to put a copy box for some more storage. I can put my cups away and uh, they put a big speaker behind it, which is nice. Now I finally have proper sound. Then this has also been uh, relined also down here on the seats because this was all just worn out. The car is 40 years old, so it was time. And also the entire ceiling has been redone. Um, and now I finally have sun visors. This also just makes the whole cabin look bigger than it is. Um, it's a high capacity pickup truck, so it's quite small. I fit in it nicely, but if you're if you're a tall guy, yeah, you're, you're gonna struggle and you're gonna get cramp in your legs and stuff. Um, then here we have, the the middle dash console whatever you want to call it um there used to be like a ton of like weird lights and gauges on here this all has been taken out now i just have simple switches for the lights for the seat heating uh charging points with usb and usb c radio with bluetooth i think this one is for the cb and then here i have like a regular usb port which is nice. Um, also this, I had a bunch of gauges on here. Like I think I had two extra gauges. Um, these got removed and just brought back to standard. I still will be adding a gauge for the temperature of the transmission. So yeah, this is like what the cockpit looks like now. And not only the cockpit, but also the habitat got a completely new wiring harness. So let's check it out. Let's go inside. So here a switch was added to operate the light. It's like on, off, and here um, you can decide how bright you want them, which is a nice feature to have. I'll zoom out a little. Here we have the kitchen area. It has running water. It's empty now, but it basically just functions with a pump. The water is stored underneath here. This lifts up and then underneath there you have water storage. Um, this is gas. You can fold this down like this and then you have two gas pits. Definitely needs a good clean. <laughs> so let's put this back. And up here we have a bunch of storage just for cutlery, whatever you might want to put there. I have the same on the other side. These are a lot bigger. I usually store my clothing in these two. 
Um, then also a new domestic fridge was added, which was definitely necessary. The old one operated on gas and it would just like half of the time it would just die and then all your food went bad. So this is this is definitely a nice upgrade. You, you have the gauge for it, um, on and off switch for the battery. And this is a panic button. And then also the lights on the outside start flickering. It's definitely a nice feature to have if you're ever in trouble or someone's trying to get in. Then up here, uh, LED was added. Here we have a roof fan. This can this one can blow air in and out. And also, all these lights have been replaced. Kept the original housing, but put new lights in because the old ones weren't very bright and yeah these just give you way more light like this up here i have them these like again we retained the old ones but added new lights in so you just get way more light underneath there i have more storage we put a new webasto heater in the old one was a very large and just at the end of its life now i have some more storage here can put stuff away this is usually where i have my cutlery in i definitely need to replace these two still because they're kind of falling apart so yeah that's kind of my little house on wheels i hope you guys enjoyed the tour and my first video mm -hmm.